morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Alexander Moroz and uh, I'm the lead developer of the Moroz Video Capture. The software that I'm using today to capture this tutorial, you can do just the same. Just visit uh, www.mrzmedia.com or you can ask me some more questions about the Moroz Video Capture, uh, the screen capture. So uh, today I will explain to you how to get the most from your GeForce GTS 250 and how to get how to save 10 15 dollars if you bought EVGA and how to make faster your EVGA GeForce GTS 250 faster over the GTS uh, 250 super clock by EVGA and even faster and save 10 15 bucks that the difference between the regular version and the super clock as you can see uh, the uh, let me go ahead and show you the super clock version cost 144.99 so 150 bucks and the regular version is cost 129 dollars so it's about 10 15 dollars you will save if you will go through this method and it's better to save this trust me it's better to save and invest even in game or whatever you like especially for those people that don't have a lot of money and low budget this is the better card than 9800 I suggest you buy GTS 250 just save 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 but do not buy the super clock we're gonna make even faster so um, as you can see super clock version running 771 by GPU it has same as the standard uh, version uh, processing course which is 128 and it's running effectively by the memory 2246 megahertz while the standard version as you can see I'm running here precision a uh, little tool by EVGA you can google it uh, EVGA precision and you can download this tool for free to overclock your video card so uh, just watch or just google it for uh, EVGA precision so as you can see 756 I'm less by 20 megahertz about by the core and I'm less by 1100 times 2 it's 2200 by 46 uh, which is super clock so what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna overclock my GPU core first and by 10 megahertz step up and then I'm gonna clock my memory but before that I'm gonna go ahead and download the 3d mark 2006 if I'm using Windows XP or future mark if I'm using the Windows Vista as well as uh, Clear Sky Benchmark, which is free and doesn't require to have the uh, Stalker Clear Sky installed. It's about 400 megabytes. You can run the benchmark for free without the Stalker. And also, I'm going to use the Far Cry 2 built in benchmark and Crisis uh, Warhead uh, downloaded benchmark. Just Google it for it. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to unlock the auto and I'm going to increase the fan speed by 80, which is okay to hear. It's not that loud. I'm going to click test and then I'm going to click apply. And it's going to speed up. 80 is fine. 100 is a little bit too loud. 80, 70 is nice. Especially if you want to get the 70, you're going to be just in good condition. It depends how, how cool is your case inside, how many fans and stuff. I just have two fans. Uh, so... And I'm going to increase the GPU speed by 10 uh, or 15. I'm going to click test and apply. And then after this, I'm going to run the test. And if your video card, your video test will freeze up for 5 seconds and even more, that means that your GPU get overheated or it, you're pushing it more than it designed. So you need to lower it by 5 megahertz by the GPU. But I suggest you to lower it by safe good average never gonna end up with this again so you need to find out your your GPU uh, clock and I know it's 815 for this one and I will tell you that any card from EVGA regular standard GTS 250 will run 800 megahertz for sure without any problems uh, you can start with that so I'm gonna click apply it's gonna apply and test so it's gonna apply 815 so you can see already by about 45 megahertz higher than even super clock and uh, same thing same method by 10 20 megahertz and the memory and I know that memory just like this with your keyboard select on that little thing and with the keyboard test it apply run the benchmark it's gonna take about five hours one day but it's worth it it's gonna give you the everything from your GP GTS and for free 
and I know this uh, card has a good memory on it and it's running up to 1250 and you're gonna be just safe at 1200 which is uh, 2400 for sure any GTS will be safe so you're gonna be as you can see 1250 it's gonna bring me to 2500 in total test okay in total so it's going to be 200 megahertz 50 higher than the regular version which is even better so run all your benchmark make sure make sure like about 10 times every benchmark make sure you're in good condition make sure you don't see any dots on the screen when you see the dots on the screen or some sticks it means that you are getting artifacts by the memory on your GPU It's probably getting overheated or you pushing to the limits so you need to lower it by 10 megahertz to be in safe middle so 15 for the GPU it's 510 for the memory it's 1015 so when GPU you pushing the limits it's gonna freeze up on you and it's fine you will never hurt your uh, hardware uh, warranty with this it's uh, absolutely safe but however I'm not guarantee anything so that's the way you're gonna push it and average I was getting about 3-4 FPS on Stalker uh, for Cry Crisis and uh, what else almost any game and 3 FPS is a big difference especially when you're running 18 and then you're about 21 and the stalker is a minimum it's it's it feels smoother trust me and but it was with my overclock GPU 4 gigahertz you're probably gonna receive the same performance I'm just let you know uh, I overclock 1 gigahertz over on my GPU safely and I was running with the stock overclock GPU and not stock overclock GPU for both versions so I was getting clearly 3 FPS which is not that much but sometimes it will give you better gameplay smoother alright so it's free you save just 10 15 dollars make your card faster than GTS 250 super clock and there is no way to waste that 15 10 dollars for that for that performance you will get about 1 FPS not even more than 1 FPS so it's suggesting you to buy the regular version overclock it and get 3 FPS faster than GTS super clock and save 10 15 dollars in your pocket maybe for games or for your needs well thank you so much my name is Alexander Moroz this video was recorded with Moroz video capture the software that I developed uh, by www.mrzmedia.com or you can ask me and I will answer you the questions you're welcome to leave a comments and alright I'm gonna step up this video card for the GTX 275 it was a good video card but I need a little bit better and I found a nice deal and I'm gonna explain to you in a future tutorial since I'm gonna run out I'm not gonna have my nice card I'm gonna run it on the AMD Radeon X700 which is three years old graphic card which is not cool for the games so I'm probably gonna create some video tutorials for you how to do this and how to do that a little bit Photoshop it's going to be a good week while I'm gonna receive my GTX 275 and I'm gonna do the review on that GTX 275 as well well again thank you so much for watching have a nice day and bye bye now so guys let me get back to you uh, I just wanna show you what I don't didn't like in GTS 250. GTS 250 was a good car, definitely better than a 9800 a GT by the max overclock. It's better the stock and running a little bit even faster by about 10 percent that maxed out 9800 GT overclock but what I didn't like about this card I don't like as you can see see it's like opening here and uh, let me show you it doesn't have the whole cartridge like GTX 260 that I own I used to have that I, I gave it to my friend one of my friend as a present it's not it's not closed over here like a cartridge all the way um, I also didn't like that over here where the slide breaches it's too much open and it's again big holes in here which is I think yeah it, this card was 129 bucks which is excellent card performer very nice will be good for the whole 2009 and uh, but I think they need to close this but anyways you know there is no way to complain but I think they should and uh, 
that's what I don't like as you can see all those little bit openings this is a great card if you're uh, having so much money low budget this is a good card especially with EVGA and I will explain to you in the future why EVGA is the best company to go with just watch my tutorials it's probably going to be on this week since I'm not going to have my GTS 250 I'm not going to play the old kick-ass games which is today I'm going to have my AMD X700 which is uh, very very low comparing to today's so I'm probably gonna do with this running this as my backup card and doing some tutorials but uh, going to introduce you to a bunch of other